Sweet it is. The CZ P09, which is their duty model. And this is a full-size polymer frame pistol from CZ. It was introduced in 2013, so it's a brand new pistol. The P09 has a 19 and 1 magazine capacity, and that's with a flush fit magazine. And that's the highest in the industry. And this is pretty impressive. 19 plus 1, which will give you 20 rounds, flush fit magazine, and a polymer frame pistol. This is the highest round count on the market. 20 rounds of 9mm is just incredible. It also comes in a 40 Smith & Wesson, which is 16 in 1, which is also one of the largest 40 Smith & Wessons on the market. The P09 is actually the big brother to the P07 Compact. And of course, we want to go ahead and safety check the pistol, so we're going to drop the magazine, the chamber. The P09 is a pretty drastic change over their standard uh, CZ75 line of pistols, which has been around since 1975, and is a favorite among many. In fact, CZ 75s are some of my most favorite uh, full service handguns. Now, the P09 is a double action, single action pistol. Many of your polymer frame pistols now are striker fire, and it has the exposed hammer. So, with the hammer down, when you pull the trigger, it actuates the hammer. Now, subsequent shots are going to be single action, which is a real short trigger pull. It does feature an ambidextrous safety, which is a decocker. But what's really unique about this pistol is that in about five minutes, you can change it out to a manual safety. That way you can carry this pistol cocked and locked. It does come with three interchangeable back straps. The smallest of the back straps is actually smaller than the CZ-75. And if you've ever held the CZ-75 or the SP-01, you know how ergonomic these pistols are. And this really makes it nice and thin. But if you want a little more to your grip, you have two other options has a three dot sight system and these can be charged to glow at night they're not tritium but they do glow if you apply light to them has a commander style hammer it has serrations on the rear and the front of the slide then you have your slide stop it comes with two steel magazines with polymer base plates has a really generous mag release the mags pop out really quickly the magazine well is slightly beveled, and this allows you to really get your magazines in very quickly. It has a Picatinny accessory rail on the front. The grips themselves have a very nice texture in panels. The rear has lines that go across, and the front is also textured. But it does have a very smooth feel to it. These are raised up enough, but they're very comfortable in the hand. On each side of the frame, you have these lines, and what this allows is for you to put your finger and give you a memory spot to keep your finger off the trigger. The trigger guard is also slightly ribbed and it's square and it gives you ample room to be able to put your finger for gloved hands. The barrel length is just over four and a half inches at 4.53 inches. The slide starts out kind of thick and then comes down to a narrow point down toward the end. It has angles that come across. This makes it really easy to insert into a holster and draw from a holster. There is a nice beaver tail this integral with the frame and it allows you to really get your hand high up for a real close bore axis. And this is going to help with felt recoil. Of course one of the big things about the CZ is the internal rail system. The slide actually fits down into the frame and that allows your slide to get down closer to your bore axis but it also helps with accuracy because the slide fits down into the frame so this gives you a real stable platform. It does feature a place for a lanyard on the bottom and it does feature the CZ Omega trigger system, which can actually be added to many of your CZ 75 pistols. The one thing about the Omega trigger system is that it makes it really smooth, but it also makes it very easy and simple to work on with an armor. And this is also the reason that you can interchange from decocker to manual safety. Now your trigger pull on double action is really smooth. You pull it back, there's some tension that builds, and then there's the brake. It's really a nice double action trigger pull. Single action trigger pull has take up and just a little bit of creep and then you have your brake. Now because this is a decocker, your safety mechanism is a little more complicated and that does affect your trigger pull. In fact, there's a whole separate spring that's included in the decocker that is absent with the regular uh, thumb safety and that will affect your trigger. The barrel is cold forged steel, which is a real high quality process and the slide has a really nice black finish to it. It's not the poly coat, but it has a really smooth 
very nice sheen. Now CZ does offer a replaceable aluminum uh, base pad and this can add two extra rounds to your magazine capacity. And that'll probably be very similar to the SP01 magazine which holds 18 in one but you do have this sticking out the bottom of the pistol. But now if you do have an SP01 or a CZ75 the magazines are not interchangeable. They just don't hit the magazine catch. The magazine catch is actually a little higher on the P09 than it is the SP01. Now one of the key things about the P09 and the reason that you can get 19 and 1 in your magazine and flush fit is because the polymer is so thin. It's super strong but yet it's really thin right in this area. Now because of that you're not going to want to try to customize this polymer frame. A lot of times guys will take a um, little hot iron and try to do some texturing. I wouldn't recommend doing that to this polymer frame. Changing your back straps out is fairly simple. First you want to push out your mainspring housing pin and this is holding your mainspring in so when you push this through your mainspring housing is going to pop out a little bit. So go ahead and just push through now once you get to a certain point, it'll push on through, but if you push down on this lanyard, you can pull the pin right out and then release the mainspring housing. It's attached to the lanyard, and then you have the spring right here. Then you can just slide off your back strap. You can see the strut through this channel, so you want to make sure that the spring hits that. And then go ahead and put your housing in. And of course, you'll want to make sure that the hole is in the correct position. Then go ahead and add whichever back strap you want, and it goes in these channels. Slide it on through. Now, you can push this through and then run the pin through, but I've found that this is much simpler. Is to find a hole on a bench block, push it down through, and then just slide your pin in. This takes the tension off the mainspring housing itself. Makes it really easy. Now this is the largest of the grip inserts and it really makes it feel more like the CZ75. To field strip the pistol, you want to line up these two hash marks, which is typical for CZ, and it just comes back just a touch. And you want to push your slide stop through right here, and it pops out. Then you can pull that off and then just your slide comes right out. Remove your recoil spring, and your recoil spring is a steel rod. And then just remove the barrel. Of course you have your browning type lockup design. You can see the slide rails right here on the slide, and then the internal rails right here on the inside of the pistol. You have two blocks that hold the rails in. You have your forward block, and then back at the rear, your rear block. It's fairly simple to remove the decocker and to install your manual safety. But the trick really comes when you want to reinstall the decocker. So I'm going to make a complete separate video demonstrating how to install and how to uninstall these two safeties. To reassemble, just go in reverse order, placing your barrel in first, then your recoil spring. Internal slide rails. Go ahead and take your slide release while your barrel is in place and just kind of get it started. Then you can bring back your marks here and line them up and then slip it into place. I was really excited about getting this pistol out to the range and trying it out. But I was totally stunned at how easy this thing shoots and how it just stays on target. Follow-up shots were right on the money. At 10 yards, all my shots were getting in this same area. I mean, it's really amazing how quick it gets right back on target. The manufacturer suggested retail price on the P09 is 514. These have just been imported into the country as of June 2013, so it's going to take a while for these to get around to many of your local gun shops. And when they do, typically the price comes down from the manufacturer suggested retail. But if you come across one of these P09s anytime soon, I would highly recommend the purchase if you're looking for a full size 9mm or 40 Smith & Wesson pistol. Plus the capacity of 19 in 1 in 9mm, 
That is fantastic. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. <laughs>